So hello everybody, I know that I'm a few days late, I had a day off yesterday, but I asked you do you want me to review the Power BI desktop update and you said yes. But I'm not going to do only that, I am also going to review the business application uh, announcements that they made, because some of them are really really cool and I don't know if you might have missed them. And they are intertwined, <laughs> both updates basically. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, modern visual tooltips. So they have done an update on the tooltips on Power BI. It is a preview feature, so you need to take it on in order to be able to see it. And for all the reports, you need to also take on modern tooltips. So make sure you do that in order to be able to see them. Not all the visuals are included though. So report page tooltips, the custom visuals, line charts, area charts, stack charts, the composition tree, the matrix, do not have these options yet. And the biggest limitation of all, for me at least, is that you cannot granularly control this. So you can turn it on and off on the entire report, but not on a specific visuals. And this is something that I really, really like for the old tooltips. So I am going to wait until they do that, especially because they have drilled down and drilled through on the new tooltip, right? So great update, they look a lot better. Looking forward to so you can, until you can uh, turn it on and off in each individual visual. So super nice, thank you. Now, next one, they have added the possibility to disable sensitivity levels. Unfortunately, they don't say what use case this is meant for. They say that they had a customer that I'm guessing that it was a customer or a few customers that they said, hey, we need to disable it. I wish they would have said why. I cannot think of a case. If you know, let us know. But you can now disable them anyhow. Now, the next one, this is something that has been waited for quite a long time, but I haven't seen a, quite a buzz for it. I'm not sure why. But it's the Power BI data sets and analysis services allowed now for direct query instead of just a live connection. I personally prefer to do data flows instead of direct query. Direct query is quite limiting, but I can see cases where this is actually needed, especially with analysis services. So I hope you enjoy this update. They have improved the lineage view. The lineage view is you can see which data set and which um, report is connected to what. So now you will be able to notify the consumers of that specific view of upcoming changes and there will be also some additional information that you may need when you're working with it. So nice update. There are certain cases that you want to disable direct query. You don't want your users to be able to access the data source using direct query. And before you need a third party tool to be able to do that, now you can do it directly on Power BI Desktop on the options and settings dialog. This was released on the Business Application Summit, and it is that you can now quickly create Power BI reports from Microsoft SharePoint lists. So with just the, on, on the ribbon, you can just click Power BI report, and a report will be created for you, so you can do some quick analysis. They are doing a ton of work on the dataset view, and they have now added the possibility to actually view the contents of the data set. That means the table, the columns, the measures, without having to open them on Power BI Desktop. So this is actually a pretty, pretty neat update. Not only that, they have actually added an uh, action bar, so you can do all the stuff from the action bar. You can find everything very, very quickly. Next one, connected pivot tables. So connect Excel and Power BI. They actually talked about these on Ignite or one of these conferences a, a few months ago. There was a big buzz. I haven't heard so much about it. I am going to do a separate video because there are some neat functionality in there. But basically, you can connect Power BI and Excel and they will stay connected. So Excel will stay refreshed. There are some buts and ifs and limitations. We will discuss that in a separate video. Okay, so now all the updates I'm telling you about now, they are from Microsoft Business Applications Conference, right? And if you see an orange title, it means there is coming soon. It's not available yet, okay? So the first one coming soon is Application Insights, which to me, it looks like those quick insights that we've had since the beginning. 
that you know you click in there and then analyze all your data sets and gives you like correlations and anomalies and outliers and all that stuff. But it's, a little, it's going to be more available, more visible, more accessible, which is a good thing. I mean, it doesn't always tell you interesting things, but sometimes it does. And when it does, it's actually quite neat. So I, I like it. I Let's test it when it comes out. The next one, which is a really nice move. You know, you can actually have Power BI reports with the HoloSense virtual reality glasses, goggles. So you can actually you know, look at things and see data about it, like machines and things like that, which is very, very neat. But who has a HoloLens uh, goggle, right? <laughs> Nobody. So they are going to bring the HoloLens experience to your mobile. How cool is that? I have a case that I would like to implement here on the offices that I rent, if they let me. <laughs> see. So once they release it, release it, I'll talk to them and see if we can do that. And then I'll show you how I did it. I think it's going to be super cool. So now this is a biggie because the only thing I have not pushed Power BI mobile reports is because the visualizations are not mobile friendly. You need a different type of visualizations in order to create a mobile report. No matter how big the screens are on mobile, they're still small. So it seems, for what I read, that they are optimizing the visuals for mobile and they are going to have a separate, separate, layout so you can create mobile visions on top of whatever you are doing on the desktop it is fabulous that is what i think has been missing from day one in order to create a useful mobile report so i'm really looking forward to that and see how they implement it so let's see coming soon not available yet so teams who doesn't need to spend hours and hours on teams right so what they've done is they've created a Power BI template where you can click on it and get a report of how many hours you spend and how many... Mm -mm -mm. Now, we need to be careful with this because if it is a personal report for you, fine. But if your boss is going to start counting how many hours you spend on Teams and you're going to chat about it on your performance review, we're using data the wrong way. So, I don't know. It is coming soon. I don't know if they are releasing for everybody, just for you, for, for your boss. <laughs> we'll see. But it can be a mess quickly if they are actually, you know, using the wrong KPIs in order to measure performance. And that brings me to the next update, which is related to KPIs. So the next announcement is actually goals, and it's basically how to track KPIs. You need to use, you need a premium account, you need a Power BI service, you should configure in the service, and it allows you to track KPIs by itself basically. And uh, this is not the first time Microsoft tries to do that. They had on 2005, let me see, the business scorecard manager. I'm going to show you in a picture. And then they had on 2009 per performance point server. Both of them were never truly adopted. And now they are getting back on it with goals in Power BI. So let's see if they, you know, let's see if we can get it this time. And um, I, I, use it carefully. That's the only thing I have to say. Goals or cards out of context can be a dangerous thing, right? And you can have too many KPIs in one place that will actually prevent you to, from seeing anything. <laughs> there is actually a meme about that in a uh, post in here, or Avinash actually <laughs> posted a tweet just when goals were coming out. I don't know if it is a casualty or not that one that I thought it was quite funny. Be careful with goals, right? I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm not saying that you should not use it. Use it responsibly as everything else. Make sure that you don't have too many goals. Make sure that you can look at those goals in isolation, that they are not depending on something else. Like this is bad only if this is also bad <laughs> and you need to show both. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Now, for those organizations that have a big Power BI implementation, monitoring the platform must be quite hard. So, Microsoft realizes that, and they have, together with the Azure team launching, or going to launch, this is coming soon, Azure monitoring for a Power BI that will allow you to have an overview of what's going on on the Power BI platform and be able to, you know, optimize it and manage it basically. So
paginated reports have got its own visuals, so you can embed a paginated report into Power BI. And then last but not least, if you're a data scientist and you're using Jupyter Notes, you can now, you will be able to, it's a coming soon feature, you will be able to soon embed Power BI reports in there. So I don't use Jupyter Notes, so I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing and something that is useful or not. You tell me if you are in the comments box. Okay guys, so as always, which one is your favorite, not only of the May update, but also the business application insights? Um, my favorite is going to be the optimize, optimize visuals for mobile if it is done the way I hope it is done. So we will see how, how it gets implemented. And definitely this HoloSense thing on the mobile is going to be really cool. I have to test it, obviously. You, you always have an idea in your mind of how it's going to be, and then you test it and maybe something else. But those would be my top two. Which ones are yours? And I will see you again on Tuesday with another Power BI video. Enjoy your weekend. It is going to be rainy and cold. So we'll see what we do. Take care. Bye.